Greetings, my friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Disney World room tour. Today, we are gonna be looking at my royal guest room at Port Orleans Riverside, but be sure to stick around because I'm gonna give you a lot more information about the resort itself. So let's get right into it. So our royal guest room, we actually have two rooms because I was on a girl's trip, two connecting rooms. These were located on the second floor of Parterre Place, which is one of the buildings pretty close alongside the Sasagula River. Now I have on a blog post, a detailed map, a walking map um, of how close it really is to all the dining, shopping, and the South Depot bus station, which is the main bus station. So definitely check that out if you want to take a look at that. I have a lot more information about the resort in general there as well. But going back into the room, as you can see on the wall, there's some really cute Prince silhouette decor on the wall. In the seating area, there's two really plush royal looking chairs right there. And in this room, there are two queen beds. And I have to mention this, I had the best night's sleep in months. I mentioned that to my family while we were there. I couldn't get over how well I slept. So it might be because these are newer mattresses, I don't know, but I slept great. So just wanted to make note of that. And here we have the dresser, which does have three working drawers along with a mini fridge, not a beverage cooler, like you can find like in all-star movies, which I don't know why they're doing that. I wish they would just stick with mini fridges. Families are traveling with kids. Kids want milk and dairy products, so I don't understand why they're doing that. But anyway, we do have a mini fridge in this room, so grateful for that. Here is the bathroom, and it is sectioned off with a door that has a full-length mirror on it, and you can see some really cute princess um, detailings in the shower. And of course, you do have those H2O products that are on the wall for everyone to use. Moving into the vanity area, the sink area, there is a very cute hidden detail in here. I don't want to give it away, but you can clearly see there's two of those items in here. If you want to know what they are, head over to my blog, but they are so cute. I missed them the first time, but I love that subtle detail that they did in this room. Also in this room is an open closet with hangers. There's an ironing board um, and you can section off with a curtain the bathroom area from the main living area of the room. And as you can see, moving back into the main living area, there is a really cute collage of princess photos, all the princesses up there. My only gripe and complaint, I wish that they would have changed that light fixture into a chandelier to make it look more royal. That was my only thing. I think it would have been perfect had they done that. On this side, you can see Princess Tiana. She gets her full blown portrait there because this is her resort after all, along with a footstool that she might remember from Beauty and the Beast and the magic carpet from Aladdin. I think that is so adorable. And if you guys ever see some things in here that I may have missed, please let me know down below. I think I may have missed some things in this room. But one thing I did not miss was this great detail in the headboards. And I think this right here is the best detail in this room. And that is the magical headboard. There's a button on each side of the bed on the inner side of each of the headboards. When you turn that on fiber optics come on it kind of mimics lightning bugs and then there's some fireworks i think that is the cutest thing ever your little princesses are going to love it to say that i love this room is an understatement i think it was the perfect choice for us especially since this was a girl's trip with my mom my mother-in-law and my aunt it was just a great theme for our overall trip however i don't see myself renting this room when i go with my family only because i have two boys that are definitely not into the girly side of things but my daughter would absolutely go nuts in this room and with that being said i am highly recommending to my husband that we stay here on a future Disney World trip. Now we are DVC members so we generally stay at like Animal Kingdom Lodge or Bay Lake Towers or Beach Club or something but this resort really impressed me. Not only from our room that it impressed me but the overall feeling of the resort was just so chill, so laid back. The detailing that they did into all of the buildings, the dining, transportation, everything was perfect. So I want to talk a little bit about the different transportation modes to get you places. So one of the options is taking a boat to Disney Springs or to 
Port Orleans French Quarter, which is the other resort's property. You could even walk to French Quarter if you wanted to, but the boat ride over there is just so, so nice. So from the marina area, you can just get in line and get on a boat and that will take you directly to French Quarter and then it'll take you to Disney Springs, which is a great option if you're wanting to do some shopping and eating, it's great. And then when you are at Disney Springs wanting to return back to your resort, what you're gonna be looking for is a yellow flag on the boats or a combined yellow and purple flag. Yellow signifies Port Orleans Riverside and the purple signifies Port Orleans French Quarter. Sometimes you will see both flags on there, which means that they will service both hotels, but it's just so easy to get back. You don't have to think about it. Not much waiting is involved either. Also here is Parterre Place where our Royal Room is. You can see it from the boat very close by to the Sasagula River and that pedestrian bridge that takes you to the main area of the resort. So this marina area where you go to board the boats or the water taxis is where you're also going to find Surrey bike rentals like you see right there. You can also find the horse-drawn carriage rides right here too. So there's lots to do in just this little area of the resort. I haven't even talked about the pools or the fishing hole which is coming up or one of the main attractions of this resort, Yeehaw Bob Jackson. The boat ride from Port Orleans Riverside to Disney Springs takes approximately 20 minutes and you're going to want to dress appropriately. This is an open air boat. It happened to rain on the way back and we were getting hit in the face sideways with this rain so definitely check the weather before boarding. So let's talk about dining options at Port Orleans Riverside, one of them being the Riverside Mill Food Court. It is a massive family-friendly food court that has five different stations set up. There's a bakery station, a salad and pizza station. There was even a station set up where you could get gumbo, red beans and rice. So definitely trying to stay true to its theme, New Orleans style. There's also a grab and go station here too, and there is a plethora of seating available. So you will definitely be able to find some seating. Next door to the food court is Boatwright's Dining Hall. This is the resort's table service restaurant, so you definitely wanna make reservations. And next door to Boatwright's is River Roost Lounge. Now you're definitely gonna wanna stop off here, especially if you're here Wednesday through Sundays. This is when you're gonna see Yeehaw Bob Jackson, who is on the piano and is amazing at it. And while not located at Riverside, you're going to want to go over to French Quarter anyway because you want to go to Scat Cat's Club Cafe for their Mickey Shape beignets. People that go to Disney World, they will come and make time just to try out these beignets. They are the best. So besides the entertaining Yeehaw Bob, what else can you do at this resort? Well, there are six pools at Port Orleans Riverside, the main pool being Old Man Island. Here you will find Muddy River's pool bar, grab some great cocktails. And next to this pool bar, there is a fishing hole where you can rent some poles and fish for some bass. I actually saw a child catch a bass. It is a catch and release, but it's still a fun time. It was really busy too. And of course, one of the main draws to this resort is the horse-drawn carriage rides. They can fit up to four adults or two adults and three small children. I think my kids would absolutely love to do this. They take you on a 25 minute ride around the resort. And I think that they can also take you down to Port Orleans French Quarters as well, but the guides will give you all the details and you can sign up for that either on the website at DisneyWorld.com or you can go to the marina and try to sign up there for a same day reservation. And for all the pricing on the horse-drawn carriage rides, the fishing, the Surrey bike rentals, head to my website down below where I will include as much information as I possibly can to help you out on your next trip. And if you're looking to shop, Fulton's General Store is where you're gonna wanna head. It's actually a really good size gift shop. So they have not only souvenirs and merchandise, but you can find grab and go items, water, wine, different types of sundries, medicines. They will literally have everything. I ended up buying a lot of my souvenirs from the store just because they had everything that I needed here. It is right off of the lobby area. When you enter the doors of the lobby, it's on the left-hand side, you cannot miss it. And that is it for this Port Orleans Riverside tour. I hope that this was really helpful to you and it gives you some new information and just helps you overall in planning your next Disney World trip. If you're looking for any other room tours, I will include a playlist right here up in the corner for you, along with down below for any other resort room tours that you're interested in. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye friends.